Is Star Wars a sin? The movie Star Wars, those movies, are they a sin to watch? I really don't want to believe it's a sin. Because there are some sins that people are interacting with that they don't know are sins. No, they won't be held accountable for them because you're not held accountable for any of your sins if you're um, a, a true born-again Christian who has Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But that doesn't mean that you can still sin. If you keep on sinning, what you're going to do is you're going to lose contact and connection to God while you're here on earth. But when you die, then you'll be in heaven with God. But it could be like a hundred years or something. And you don't want to go a hundred years on this earth feeling alone and that God isn't there with you to not feel the Holy Spirit working in your life, to not fear the presence of, or to not feel the presence of God. Uh, that it would be so bad. And that's what's going on with me, like a lot. But during some situations in life, I know that God is still with me. Um, me not dying from things that I should have died from, obviously. Um, me not being in prison because I burned my iPhone um, in, on May 10th. I burned my iPhone. And well, was, I already made a video, but... I'll say it again. I burned my iPhone on the patio because it was really, it was getting on my nerves and I was having a horrible day. I was so stressed out of my mind. I was about to explode with rage. Um, and I spray painted it on the patio and set it on fire. And then I just closed the door, played some video games until... It was until it burned, um, burned out. And when I went back out like 20 minutes later, the whole patio was burning. There was dead leaves. There was wind. So the wind um, blew the dead leaves into the uh, fire of the phone. And then um, it the wind blew the fire into the recycling bins and then the re uh, recycling bin and then the recycling bin burnt into a puddle of melted plastic then that caught onto the trash bin that burned into a puddle of plastic as well then the sides of the house started to burn down and melt um to where insulation was shown so yeah never ever ever, ever, ever burn anything to where you might think that it would be dangerous. Um, make sure it's away from everything. Like if you light a candle, make sure it's not anywhere near paper or anywhere near anything that can burn because it will burn, 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 burn. Really will. Anyways, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think Star Wars is a sin? I mean, you guys do know it's from Disney, right? I'm not going to go all above and uh, all out and say uh, that there's some things that are not, uh, that there are things that aren't a sin that's made by Disney, because I'm sure there are. Um, like, I'm sure there's kids' movies like that are, like, G-rated that have, like, demons and the devil and stuff in it. Uh, gotta be careful with that stuff, you guys. Just because it's made by Disney, just because it's G-rated, doesn't mean it's unsafe. Or it doesn't mean it's uh, safe. The devil really will put stuff in movies that you think are okay, like G-rated movies. Because who thinks those are a big deal, right? Well... Truthful or truth be told, it is. Some of them are. They have demons like Hercules. I mean, that's idolatry right there. 
It's pure idolatry. You're Zeus, that's a Greek god. Hercules, he's a Greek god. Um, there's only one god, so watching anything else that has a god that's not the god um, is idolatry. So, not to mention it has monsters in it, like the big giant dragon with multiple heads. Um, but idolatry is right there. That's, that's enough as is. So let me, uh, or, um, sorry, I woke up literally like two hours ago. I'm still waking up. Um, let me know, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this.